right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate it. We've got the latest full self-driving beta, FSD beta 10.9. We're going to take it out for another drive. Our initial drive, our initial impressions were that it was pretty solid. It was pretty good, but nothing groundbreaking. But now we're going to take it through another set, a different set of paths uh, that will see what it can actually do. OK, so I have it set up right now to the assertive profile. I'm going to go ahead and engage from the shoulder. One click press. A little scary, but it still got me in. Didn't cross the line, didn't hit that car. But again, this is real world. These paths that I'm going through on full self-driving beta on our videos are typically the first time we've ever gone through these paths. So it's not sort of a pre-canned scenario where we've sort of been through it before and know it can do good or bad. We're going through it for the first time with you guys. I'll try to keep my narration to a minimum, but I will give my input as needed. Slowing down for the yellow light, I'm going to proceed forward. It says autopilot paused. A little bit of a windy road coming up here just to give you a heads up. Hopefully it takes it. I'll have my hand at the ready. As always. Very windy road. Handles it pretty good. I'll speed up a little bit just because we've got some cars piling up above us, behind us. FedEx has to get where it needs to go to drop off those packages. And we're off. Pretty straight road right here. Just a couple flashing lights, some standard lights, and it gets really, really windy. A really sharp S curve, then some more straights, then some more winding roads, then some more highway like roads as well. So a nice blend of road conditions to really see what 10.9 has to offer in terms of level of comfort and confidence. Not zero disengagements here. We're talking about level of comfort and confidence and then work on dis zero disengagements beyond that. Double parked uh, mail truck, UPS truck in the middle of the road. Let's see what happens. Nice, good challenge for FSD beta. Pauses. Doesn't allow the pedestrian to go. Kind of did and kind of didn't, kind of hesitated a little bit. Again, assertive profile, maybe that's the cause here. More double parked cars, let's see what happens. It's gonna wait for it, wait its turn, then go around very nicely. Here's a sharp S curve. It typically doesn't really handle this very well at all. But let's see what happens. Oh, excellent job here. Excellent job. I want to intervene a little bit just because there was some something there that was clear, a little bucket. A little bucket that was there that uh, I don't think the car really recognized until the last minute, so I didn't want to risk it here. Um, again, Model 3, Model Y, if I was driving one of those, I definitely would have risked it. But uh, for the Model S Plaid, I'm not risking it. Bump my speed back up because the speed limit is going to change up here. But it actually handled that S curve really, really well, um, aside from the end. Again, just an, an object, a piece of debris that typically wouldn't be there under normal conditions. And it was clear. So I don't know if that had any bearing on its ability to recognize it. But uh, I'm not mad at that at that one. And again, it just could be could have just been me overzealous. It could have actually could have you know cleared that obstacle. But just trying to be on the safe side. Pretty sunny day. I'll drop down the exposure just a little bit. Just to make sure you guys can see clearly. We're actually going to go down the same road, it looks like, that we went down with the software engineer in terms of the winding uphill road uh, with, this, with the software engineer. So we'll be able to see if there's any market improvements in that route.
indecisive, trying to get into this lane. Could have took that a little bit better. Could have took that a little bit better. Kind of saw the road it wanted to take. Could have took it a little bit better. I'm going to stop here uh, because it's on a sort of profile that sort of creeps through here. Uh, this is a turn, a right turn signal only. So I have to stop here because it doesn't know how to engage in this scenario. So it wants to make the right on red. It cannot make the right on red when there's this right turn signal here. So this is a school ahead of us. Uh, it doesn't allow us to make this right turn on red. The car does not know how to acknowledge that. Okay, re-engaging. Again, same path that we took with the software engineer. Too close to the road, lots of salt left on the road from before when the snow is here. So that's also an indication that it's too close to the edge of the road. It should really be in the left lane. It's gonna wait till the last minute because it kind of merges into one. Gets over a little bit earlier than it did before, which I think is a positive sign. So a little bit of progress there. Swerving a little bit. Again, too close on the left. I'm going to actually intervene. Went a little too close to the left. Too close to my comfort. Over the yellow line right here on the left. Close to this border. Definitely didn't want it to run over that. So that's a little bit of a regression here. So uh, <laughs> thumbs down on that one. 10.9. Uh, we need to work on that. Again, getting a little too close to the left side of this turn. And that's, again, my, my sort of criticism with, uh, you know, full self-driving and how autopilot works in general in terms of lane keeping and making, uh, you know, maneuvers. In general, it should drive more like a human where it leans on the inside of a turn as opposed to the outside of the turn. And that's going to be helpful for when you have heavier cars like the Model X, uh, as well as the Model S, making turns at a fast, at a fast uh, speed. Right. So it doesn't account for the weight, the shift of the car and the weight of the of the car causing the car to shift to the outside. So it should bias towards the inside of a turn. And you wouldn't have those issues where it gets too far to the right or left based on the weight, based on the speed, et cetera. Especially in conditions like this, where we have some snow and some ice still on the road, as well as some salt on the road that makes, uh, you know, that could that could disrupt the traction of the car. Smooth acceleration per the release notes. It's pretty good. This uh, Hemi truck is trying to race me. I'm not going to race right now because we're filming and we're testing FSD beta, not plaid acceleration. So I'm going to just let the car do its thing. Sorry, buddy. You'll have to lose to me another time. Cresting this hill right here and then coming down to another red light. Pretty solid so far. Again, I can't reiterate how uh, natural and comfortable the car feels when decelerating and coming to a stop uh, using the region and whatever new calculations they've done to the software. So that's excellent. A little bit of hesitation for me and the person next to me. 
causing some people to blow their horns. Speed limits increase a little bit. See some cars ahead of us. Starts to hesitate just a bit, just to give us some leeway for the car coming out, as well as the car turning in this lane. This car is gonna actually go around this car because the FedEx truck is double parked. Let's see what happens. Let's we'll see what the car anticipates it's going to do. It was wrong and I was wrong. Coming up on a left turn with a left turn signal, similar to that right turn signal that it didn't quite want to adhere to. Interested to see what it's going to do now. And I'll be prepared as usual to, to intervene if it decides to try to go forward, but let's see what happens. gets in the lane nicely turn signal on a little bit late i would like that turn signal to come on sooner i want that turn signal to come on you know a few feet before i get to the actual place where you can actually turn in that's going to give the cars behind us the understanding that you want to make that turn or you want to get into that lane proceeding pretty well there is a middle divider here got very close to that middle divider that was a little scary but it did it nonetheless and again handled it in terms of speed and comfort pretty well i was not mad at all at that particular turn um i do notice that the nag for your hand on the wheel has increased now uh, for 10.9 than it has over the other ones which is i think is a good thing um, but also would be curious to know what triggers it. Is it just the pressure? Does it feel like it's doing a maneuver that requires your attention? So I'll, I'll rest my hand here as much as possible just to keep the car compliant, but interested to know what the, the impetus was or the drive was for uh, the increase in the nag here. Or the warning, I'm not gonna call it a nag, I'm gonna call it a warning. Some phantom braking here, phantom braking is still a thing. Here's an overpass where the speed limit is different. See if that has any any impact on what the would cause the phantom braking. Typically, that would be the case. But phantom braking is still a thing with version 10.9 FSD beta. Going to make a left turn up here at the light. Let's see what happens. See how comfortable it gets going at 50 miles an hour. Should be slowing down. Turn signal now. Still no turn signal. We have the light. Turn signal on now. Herky jerky with the turn, but still kind of got through it, pushed through it, powered through it. So that was good. But the turn itself was a little bit awkward. definitely should be signaling when it gets into that lane. So Tesla, please, please, if you're listening, if anybody's listening, let's get the turn signal on sooner rather than later. Hesitant and turning for some odd reason. No cars are coming.
pretty sh well, we can't even make this turn. Let's see what happens. We can't make this turn. We have to go on the highway and see what it tries to do. Interesting. This is a nice little merging scenario here. Pulling up, creeping. The coast is clear. It goes for it. Pretty good. Has to stay in this lane and stay close and get into this lane right here. Let's see what happens. Slowing down. Turn signal on late. Coming up to the yield slash stop. Yield for right turn, uh, stop for straight. I don't know if it's confused by that or what. Creeping forward. And it says it's ending in 100 feet and 50 feet. And now, all right. Job complete. We did it. We made it all the way here on FSD beta 10.9 without incident, which is great. Lots of confidence that was still carried over from 10.8, 10.8.1, 10.6.1, et etc. Uh, and some new confidence in turning as well as accelerating from a stop. OK, otherwise, it's pretty solid, still has issues where it had issues before. I think that's persistent from our last sort of first impressions view of 10.9, uh, where it sort of gets out into into a turn or an intersection and tries to hesitate a lot uh, as opposed to being confident and, and sort of sticking to a, a specific maneuver and going for it. Um, and it also doesn't sort of make its own lane and be consistent with that sort of make its own path wherever the lane is make its own path and drive that path so still some work to do here with 10.9 obviously it's a work in progress but still significant work to do on some of the same areas is what i mean to say okay let me know your thoughts in the comments let me know what you think about 10.9 do you have it if you do how does it fare for you how does it work for you versus previous versions is this a, is this a better version or is this a worse version is it a scenario where it's better for some people and worse for others, like the last build? Or is it consistently the same for everybody around? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.